This lab will allow students to get a sense of radioactive half-life. Make sure the students realize that as soon as they click the begin button, they will be collecting data immediately. So when I click on the begin, you'll notice that my radioactive sample is decaying. My decade counter is counting how many particles enter into the, the detector. My time is going. I want to pause it after 10 seconds of time has elapsed and record how many uh, decays were picked up by my detector. I then allow time to continue to, to pass. The sample will become less active as time goes on. So about every minute you want to have students collect another 10 seconds worth of data. So they can allow this thing to just sit on hold. They want to get to the reset button and they want to wait until they hit the 60 second mark or thereabouts and reset the decade counter. That will not reset the program, that will not reset the radioactive sample, it will just reset the counter. So here we go, five, four, three, two, one, start. Okay, again, we want 10 seconds to go by. And we want to record how many particles were actually picked up by the detector. I would suggest collecting between 8 and 10 data points. So about 8 to 10 minutes of time need to pass. And again, you're having students collect for a 10 second uh, interval each time. If the students mess up and need to restart the experiment, they can click on this box, which will bring us back to time zero. It will also change the activity of the sample. So they want to make sure that they start collecting their data fresh. They should not mix data with two different samples. So we get a fresh sample of bismuth when we click on that. And again, they do the same procedure. Allow 10 seconds to pass. And again, they would record how many particles entered the detector. Realize the data will come out like data would in real life. It's not going to be perfect data because all of this uh, decay is taking place randomly, just like it would in real life. The direction that the particles are traveling is going to be random. So you might not get the number of particles you would expect entering the detector. But over a 10 second time interval with about 8 to 10 data points, the data should be fairly noticeable in terms of the trends.